Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and welcome to episode number six of Checkout Time. On this episode, we're going to be talking about episode number six of Another Dirty Room, where we head back to the Royal Inn in Odenton, Maryland, which is literally one of the most disgusting, disgraceful, hideous places I have ever been. Rick, you're really breathing in. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> You're getting me excited talking it's about like, the really? <laughs> Let me turn it my call. <laughs> Oxygen. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, so um so I wanna start off first with some thank yous. I've got thank yous here that I wanna say uh we wanna thank um Catherine and Stephanie. I don't know where they're from, but they sent us a nice box of snacks. Thank you. Yeah, we got. They have pirate booty. Oh yeah, that was good. Oreos um, and everything that. We, so basically, it went in the car, the box of snacks, and we are going to eat them when we film. So thank you, uh, Catherine and Stephanie. Really appreciate that. Uh, Want to thank PJ Dombrowski from Florida. Uh, for sending us some luminol. Nice. Thank Very you, nice. PJ. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Becky Taylor. Want to thank Becky Taylor for sending us some luminol. Thanks, Becky. Want to thank Ryan Coleman for also sending us some luminol. Damn. Are they all from Florida? No. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we would also like to thank um, David Shaper and Lucy Stonestrot from the Netherlands. They helped us get a light that we nice. needed oh, the light. for the show. So thank tremendous. you guys. Yeah, Jeez. so that is like really awesome. This thank you everyone. So sweet. Thank you, Lillian Endo, who is our show artist. Let me think. Would it be right here? Or this right way, I think there? it's like I can't in remember. This. <laughs> it's because it's hard when we're shooting it to tell what to tell what it is. Uh but anyway, Lillian sent us some some uh nice uh she said some caution tape. <laughs> Wait, and, and a medic in the and the um and the first aid kit that we used to to, to fix. help me yes. yeah yes. so so thank you Lillian for that and uh, we also got um a pair of needle stick gloves and I don't know who sent them but whoever did if you're watching thank you so thank much because hmm. uh, they didn't include a note and is that everything I think that's everything right now so so guys so I'm gonna put the the address up for the show right now on the screen. Um, and it'll be in the description as well. But we have everything we need. So we're, we're really great yeah. for what you've given us. And it really helps out. We have everything we need right now as far as what we need for the, you know, like equipment for the show. Um, so monetary donations on Patreon, that that is basically we need. We always need money to keep the show going every month. So that is where we're at with that. But as far as... Um, Equipment, all that kind of stuff, we're we're good. So, okay, good. thank you all so much for that. I really appreciate it. So, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Say thank you to everyone, and um, and thank everyone on Patreon. It's it's great. Money goes up, and um, we're just able to do this without having to worry. You know, are we going to be able to do the next episode? And it's just nice. It's it's been working out very very well. So we're very happy. So thank you all very much for that. Anyway, let's get into this episode. <laughs> Rick ate the soap. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, there was uh, some fan that was on my page and wrote about the eating the soap and why don't you eat it every time? And I'm like, I'm not going to do it every time. I think if Rick... But I, once in a while, I might give you the pleasure of seeing me do this because for some reason, it throws a lot of people. I mean... It's no big deal. Have you ever had your mouth washed out with soap when you were a kid because you said something that you weren't supposed to say? If not, you weren't parented properly. I should meet with you somewhere and I can paddle you to get you straight nap. Okay? None, none of this bullshit, these people who feel entitled. Not like you fans. You're great. But these people who feel entitled, it's terrible. Rick, we got to put, put that on Patreon. Rick paddles you for <laughs> however how much. Oh, well, there might be a price associated with it, you know, donation <laughs> levels. Half an hour paddle, Half hour an paddle, hour. you know, whatever you wish. I'm just thinking a paddle wheel where you Rick like, will make crawl through and I smack the right you. Amount of money. 
to- uh, totally appropriate things. Nothing inappropriate. <laughs> don't I mean? Okay. <laughs> Rick's a married man. Nothing inappropriate. Yes. Um, so so anyway, uh, we. I'm just trying to get these levels right. We're too loud. This show is run like a fucking joke. <laughs> Look at this. The sound engineer producer. is the producer. Oh, okay, now it's good. Okay, is the good. leader. He's multitasking. It's too much. Um, what, wait, wait, I just hear. I'm kicking, kicking it. Sorry, okay, I'll yeah. try to keep my foot still. Don't kick it. All right, then we get noise. Um, but I think we got the. Well, I think we got it pretty figured out. Pretty much figured out because your mic now we have a proper mic for you. Yes. Proper mic, so it sounds good. There's no like a lot of background noise. That's good. We, we good really mics. should be talking about this outside of this show. However, yeah. this is very entertaining. And look at the background; it looks terrible. We should have like we a. Need the, we need the color. We need blue screen so you can put something back there and make it up. You know. Yeah, yeah that would be good. Like us sitting place. in a dirty horrible hotel place. That. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Homeless tent cities, whatever. I mean, all that would be. Great. Oh, Rick. Okay, so the soap. I noticed something in episode one. They had the same soap as this episode. The same brand? The same brand. So what basically, was my opinion on the first episode? Well, you said that it the bouquet was like a lie factory. Okay, right. Oh, yeah. And that uh, it tasted so bad that you couldn't even wash your mouth out with it. Wait, so Rick, you've only... The two soaps that you have bitten, they've been the same I'm brand? sorry. I try to get a variety. I'll have to keep that in mind next time. <laughs> All I know, isn't this the one that's 100% natural oil, vegetable oil yeah. soap? Yes. Yeah. Ugh. It's delicious. <laughs> I can't believe you All did right, So that. I didn't masticate it multiply. I just took one bite, broke it, and then made it look <laughs> like I did more. Remember... I'm very good at acting. I can pretend, and you think things are going on. I'm waiting for a call from some network for a you know a job, doing some real cash jobs here. You need to get but in the meantime, I'm getting some exposure here on this show, so I'm doing it. Rick's Rick, going to get his SAG Rick, cards. Soon. Rick's burgeoning. Oh, burgeoning. Some, some people. Is that the word burgeoning? Burgeoning is a good word. Yeah, yes. burgeoning uh, television career. Yes. Well, with a I'm, start I'm, on friggin shitty youtube I've, I've you know almost completed a career in public health and i'm 57 no i'm not 37 i'm 57 years old i don't think anybody was arguing <laughs> oh come on i know that they thought they old. thought i was 37 or something yeah. rick's a young they thought i was the same age as dan basically so um oh isn't that nice to be saying that dan you're only 37 and uh, <laughs> so I need to find a way to, you know, for semi-retirement time. And I don't want to work a lot and keep the same income coming in. So uh, television, sitcoms. I think you should just have. How hard can they be? A new kid. How hard can it be? You and Darlene should have another, uh, should try to have a baby. A love child? <laughs> yes. Okay. Anyway, listen, uh, we're getting way off track. Yes. We haven't talked about the episode at all. Um Okay, so the biggest two well, two of the things that really blew us away with this room, of course, finding the cocaine and bed bugs in the same bed. same bed bed, but also the luminol tests oh, were my. and I can't tell you guys how I don't know why we weren't doing luminol just in we're going to be doing luminol in, in the every, very beginning, we didn't every, have it. it took well, a couple of weeks to try it out right, and then when I got it. See, I mistakenly bought the version of Luminol that they use professionally, yeah, which doesn't destroy DNA, so it's very expensive. So literally, like if we if we would mix up eight ounces of this Luminol, that was an additional like thirty five forty dollars that you would add on to what we were already spending on the room and everything else. So it was a lot. I mean, it was a lot of money. It was a lot. So I was being, you know, kind of grinchy with it. I thought, well, if we find a room where we think there's going to be a lot, but then when I figured out that the training version of the (laughs) luminol was a lot cheaper and you could, and it, it's a lot cheaper and it, actually glows brighter and you can see it with the lights on but it doesn't have the benefit of saving dna but it doesn't save dna we're not we don't need a bunch of evidence yeah we don't need the dna so these these are crime scenes that nobody's ever investigated because they didn't know there was even a crime committed right 
But right. this one, I really would call this a crime scene. Something yeah. terrible happened to somebody. I think they were trying to escape this room. And as in their haste to get out, they grabbed the door frame. And we got a perfect view of it in the luminol. I mean, yeah. it's so mm-hmm. scary. The handprint. The luminol tests were just like... It's shocking. We're spraying and we're just like... Oh my god! I mean, it's yeah. like so scary, and uh, the first episode I couldn't figure out how to film them. I, I was just like, I didn't know what I was doing because you know, it's like there's just. Oh, I wanted to ask something. Hmm. The cocaine was the cocaine on the floor behind the no. bed? No, or was it? It was in the bed. It was in this cover. In, no, yeah. it was inside of the cover. All right, so we're doing it now, isn't this? It's the right bed? here. Yeah, it was right in the bottom. Here's the right scene. There. there it is. So it's inside of a yep. cover that was put around the box spring, the, the foundation. The, the, the bed bug cover. Yeah. And it's because there were bed bugs in the bedding. And like I said before, even during the taping, this uh, is for putting one to the bed. Basically, you're leaving it on permanently. If yeah. it gets damaged, you're supposed to just put another one on top of it. Right. So in, indeed, we found dead insects inside of that cover, exactly what you want. Yeah, so. but the co- coke. finding the cocaine. But the was- cocaine, I wanted that. I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you didn't want to admit that. I'm um, glad we found something. One that of was the interesting well, like one that. of the th- w- one thing that I was really happy is that I, when I ordered those cocaine testers, I was like, "We'll never use these. Like, why mm-hmm. am I getting these?" Right, right. And lo and behold, right here. Uh, this moment here is so it's just so good because it's like yeah. wow, look at it Dan. really right away, is bam. Look, look at Dan his technique suggestion of put the sample in the bag put the ampule in the bag use your metal flashlight and roll it over top to crush yeah but it. you did it again you did it wrong again because the the plastic cover that the ampule is supposed to be in is sitting next it's sitting on the table next to the bag so you took the ampule out of the bag. Hmm. But it doesn't matter because the bag, it actually looked better because the ampule broke it. on yeah. top of all the cocaine. But and I, and I at, do first, th- at first when we found it, we thought it was crack because it was all rocks. Yeah, was but then, yeah, but, but the rocks all broke up. Yeah, it was just uh, there, moisture right? or whatever, you know. It's And then we found the, uh, the bed, bug. bed bugs. I mean, there. I don't know how much coke was in it, but it made that test kit change color. That's all we know. Yeah. So it, uh, but man, this place is awful. I'm um, just so bad. Don't ever like, go to this place. <laughs> like, I don't even know how. I, I know that I was reading that they. Hey, there's one of our friends. Yeah. Right there. Isn't that lovely? Look at all the blood. You know what's funny? Those right macro there. shots I do with the. Yes. With my phone. And I literally use a macro lens that we bought at Walmart that was in a little kit. And it was like, what was it? It was little? two bucks. Yeah, it was two dollars. <laughs> Unbelievable. Two dollars for this little kit of these like cheap lenses and you just put it on, it works yeah, great. It's it was a great two dollars. I'm looking at lenses like phone lenses that were like ninety bucks and stuff, and I'm like, oh man, it's like so exp- everything's so yeah. expensive. Mm-hmm. And uh Walmart. Walmart. Two bucks. Two bucks. <laughs> on <clearance. laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> um so so uh yeah, but those shots are really cool. Yeah. But I, I uh this place, first of all This pillow. <laughs> Oh my god, the pillow was crazy. <laughs> when you dump the pillow, oh, this, this is not a this pillow. is the best pillow I've ever pillow. seen. This is a piece, just a, a rectangular piece of cotton. Yeah, it's not a pillow, like, and it starts a new character. I don't know if I can continue to do this every episode, <laughs> a but new uh, character. Yes. How in the hell does this place, like the first room, both beds were saturated with piss. Mm-hmm. This room, th- there's. Coke and bed bugs and the walls in this room were the worst thing I've ever seen. Like yeah. covered. The black light uh, view was oh, amazing. The whole yeah. room, it like it looked like the constellation or something. Like like you lit, uh, you put the black light on and everything started glowing. And I can't imagine how many germs. This shot right here, actually, in the bonus footage, I'll show it. But in the middle of the bed, there's this giant yellow stain in the middle of the bed, like someone pissed on it. I'm sure they did. I didn't show. I I uh, couldn't get a good cutaway f- from it. So it was the. the thing. I think each episode we're kind of getting our pacing right yeah. at this point. So we're like, you know, it's it kind of like the filming. 
the way we film everything, the way we're kind of doing everything, I think we're all kind of starting to work a little bit better. Mm-hmm. The three of us, Jelly. like, we get yeah. to know what's going on. But it is so much work, but it's so much fun. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to film this. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're we filming this week. While. We have not filmed in, like, what, a month? Something like that. It's close to it. So this weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we're filming this yep. weekend, and uh, there'll be an episode out next week. And we're just, ex- I'm just, I can't wait to get back into yeah. a dirty room. This is our our uh, romantic... Um, our Valentine's our, Day Our Valentine's episode. Day special. But don't say anything about the room. But, no, 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 no. But no. It, it's a very romantic uh, episode. You guys will... <laughs> I'll, I'll have a different, a different flavor of beer we're this gonna, time. We're going to get a bottle of wine, and we're going to... Oh, wine? Yeah, <laughs> some oh, cheese? Champagne. Some cheese. How about some champagne? Uh, champagne? Some grapes. Strawberries. <laughs> maybe some champagne. We might not even film. We might just... <laughs> we might just enjoy, enjoy the room. Enjoy the room. Um, Maybe we'll lay in, the, lay in the bed, all three of us. Oh, God, no. I'm not getting in the bed. Screw that. This really yeah. made me kind of sad that somebody had a child in this well, place. Well, the, the thing with this room is, in this hotel, or motel, or whatever it is, shed hole is what... This place, I honestly, should be shut down. Mm-hmm. This, this is a place where I'm just like, shut it the fuck down. It doesn't need to be And open. it was. Well, is it shut down now? Somebody said online. No, no. Yelp it says, says it's shut down. It says it's shut down. But it's it's not. not shut down. Oh, okay. It's open. But before we got here, you researched this and you told us prior that it had been shut down for a period of time and it only had been for a open month. Like yeah. in the last month and a half. Right. So it had been closed for for a month for cockroaches and then they reopened it, I guess, when they passed. Because we didn't see any roaches. We saw one dead roach. That's oh. it. It would have been great if we had gone and like the room was crawling, crawling with, with roaches. roaches. Yeah. I, just, I, I just heard a terrible story. From a lady who's been abroad, third world nations. Do you know there's something known as cockroach toxicity? Yes. And I've it, heard that before. I haven't heard about that. In, in very bad places, unfortunately, there can be so many roaches when you're eating, they're jumping in your mouth after oh. the food. Oh, my God. So people are consuming the roaches and you eat too many and it actually causes a toxicity. Jesus. She came upon a 97-year-old lady somewhere down south in a terrible situation. Basically, she called it former slave quarters and got the lady into health care when she was doing this work. It was terrible. Jeez, former slave terrible. quarters? What? Yeah, it still existed. We're never torn down. And they were using that as like a place for people to live. And this lady was like, oh, oh, I see. Maybe a care house or she something. She was eating cockroaches. Well, it would be, when she ate her, her food, mouth. it went, they went in with her food. Like when she put a spoon up to her mouth, they're like following the food. No. It's terrible. Yeah. I need that to happen here because I am fat. I, If I had roaches crawling into my mouth while I'm eating, you I would need so eat. much. I'd be like, well, I'm going to stop eating now. I'd be like, oh, put don't it down. No get, more food. Don't you get a tapeworm and then we can pull it out after it's done. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was- <laughs> It could be in the next episode. I'll give birth we to it like the fly. 300 pound tapeworm and yeah. Dan is thin. 300 pound tapeworm. Damn, your physique is amazing. You went to the club and worked out? No, I just gave birth to a tapeworm. I gave birth to a tapeworm. Um, okay, we digress again. So, so anyway, uh, we uh, this place was just... The Royal Inn, I've never... I, I am still it's, speechless by it. It's anything but Royal. Royal, Royal is such a... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's uh, like such ex- a sarcastic ex- comment about yeah. it. It's Extreme ridiculous. overstatement. You aren't kidding. I mean, there's nothing like... I, I've, I just have... I just can't believe it. I can't... And the fact that the county, that Arundel County in Maryland, where this motel is located... They put displaced families in this motel. It's like temporary shelter? Yeah. They have an agreement to do that? Yeah. With this place? With this, the local it, government. I don't know how. I have uh. no idea how that works, but it that's what they're doing. So I really would love... I think I should just put together a little like reel. And send it to And them. send it to yeah. the c- county council or whoever the local government and say, look, what, you know, how can you put families in this? Yeah, I don't care about adults. K- 
kids, kids, yeah, should not be in here. No. Which, when we left, remember, we left this night, yeah, and there was left. a whole family in the I went, office well, when we were leaving. A bunch of little. Kids. I went to check out because you have to give the friggin' remote back, <laughs> and then they give you your deposit back, which. I don't remember how much the deposit. It, it was twenty five dollar deposit. It's a broken TV, a broken remote, yeah. but they use that to get tw- uh, deposit from you. Yeah, mm-hmm. twenty five dollars. What is the deposit? They for? hope you yeah. take the remote. You're going to go in there, and yeah, right? So they can they have keep these broken it. remotes. They went to well, I kept, old I, TV store and took all these old remotes that yeah, were in a box. I put I put the hidden camera on each time because I was like. I was like, they're going to figure out a way to keep the twenty five dollars, mm-hmm. but they didn't. They refunded it, but oh, but they um, were honest in the end, or returned it, I should mm-hmm. say. But this place is a shithole, and I don't know how anyone could take their kids here. Yeah. I know your circumstances can be bad, but how? I mean, how do you get to a point where you're going to a place like this with your kids, oh, unless yeah. you are drinking or doing drugs? And There's the, better places you know, for I, the money. No, I think that basically it suited perfectly. For the IV drug abuser with no housing options. No, I'm, I mean, I'm kidding. It's not even good enough for that. What the hell? I mean, it's like in Canada, they have these safe locations for people to go. And do Maybe the county needs to take that over and help with yeah. safe injection site, the Royal Hotel uh, on in, in Elk Ridge. I'm just going to cut so. Rick's mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so we we uh, were, you know this was a gold mine, and after we shot one episode here, I was like, we got to go back and do a part two, just do one more room. And we got back, and uh, oh, I wanted to tell everyone. So when we got there, th- remember the check in thing? I got to tell everybody about this. We pull up for the se- you know for the second shoot, this room, and um, I go into the thing and i said oh i need a room because i asked last time we were there i said i need something for three hours and the guy said okay and he gave me the price i think it was 45 dollars and and uh he immediately went to give me the room that we had that we already had the first time and i said no no not that room and he's like okay and he gave me a different room so we go up we go into that different room and on the surface it didn't look that bad I'm not saying it just was not it was not um, remarkable remarkable no. like it, it there was nothing sticking out about it to us that I would be like let's this is the room we should do so I said let me go downstairs and I'll get a different room Pers- or re- he persevered to get us request yeah. a different room had to argue I had to argue with this fucking guy for fucking 15 minutes for him to switch the room. I kept saying, oh, my friend can't walk up the stairs. That was the excuse. My friend can't make it up the stairs. The guy was like shaking his head and looking around. I'm like, what? This guy was like older than dirt. And he's talking to me. He's shaking his head and everything. I said, get in your fucking room. Like, what is the problem? And uh, so we go, we go uh, I go on and on and on. Finally, He's like, you want to be around back? And I said, yeah. Like, couldn't you just said that? Like when I first fucking In talked about it. So he gives me um, a key. And then when we went to that room, oh, the yeah. smell, you could smell it outside the doors. Like it smelled like it was abandoned. <laughs> It and probably I was, had been for a while. It was horrible. We walked in. I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, we couldn't believe it. I was like, this room is hideous. And, uh, and, and it's the Holy Grail. Yay. And this room was great. I oh. want to say Rick and I's elbow to elbow thing. I find that to be hilarious, but it, nobody else seemed to have liked that. Yeah. Right. I mean, it was so, <laughs> bring, so bringing it up won't make it any fun. Yeah. Huh, now oh, everybody's going to like, like it. That's like not now, what now you Now everybody's going to be like, hey. I mean, it was just a I don't goofy know why, pose. Why, was that, why would people have But why would that, that funny? It's not. I just I, I'm, think stupid shit is funny. It was supposed to be goofy looking. Yeah, it was when we, to be when, goofy when we looking. look in our into each other's eyes in episode, <laughs> what was that three? And then we look at you and smile. I mean, you know, we're just doing goofy things because we're like these monkeys, and he's the puppet master. And he goes, "Okay, do this. Stand on your head. Why don't you eat some poop?" I know I have to sometimes say no, but once in a while I'll eat soap. Oh. <laughs> well, Rick, you're you're. 
you're teasing people with the soap thing. Yeah. In this one, he's like, and it's like, you can't do that. Everyone's sitting at home like, come on. I, eat I want the you to eat it, eat it, eat it, chew it. Get we, the soap we, between your we were, teeth. We were so proud of our cocaine find. <laughs> we were. That was like our, that was like our, tra- like when people go gold mining. <laughs> that was like our gold nugget. We found it. Yes. Um, so we uh, we flushed the cocaine, and of course, some people were upset that we put that it we in the toilet. Flushed it, yeah. They were well. Some people were upset for d- different reasons. Was, was it pharmaceuticals into the wastewater stream? Was yes, there were some people who were like, "That's going to damage our water." I'm like, "Listen, oh, yeah, whatever the fuck's going in the toilet at this motel uh, is going to be. This is actually going to help." Because this place, whatever's going down the toilet, there's a lot of stuff going down the toilet in this place. Sadly, when you don't consume everything in your body and then the waste products go down the toilet from your own body, that's a lot of the way that our pharmaceuticals are getting into the waterways. It's your own body excretions. Isn't that nice? Isn't that pretty? (laughs) Two-headed frogs, things like that. Two-headed frog. I'm not kidding. That's Who's shitting out a two-headed frog? They're being no, found in the environment. <laughs> he's talking about frogs. <laughs> Fro- frogs are very sensitive to changes in the environment, and we're seeing genetic changes Ugh. in frogs, what? such as what? that Rick, type of thing. Why did you put your hand in the yeah. toilet? Uh, the toilet was the cleanest part of the whole place in the bowl. It really was. I don't know why you you know you gave me this thing to get rid of, and then I felt like I had to make sure there was nothing left in the bag. I, didn't I know who would be coming back in that room, and would they try to get something out of this bag, maybe to get the drugs out of it or something? So I was trying to make sure there was nothing for someone Jesus, to hurt themselves. So angry, <laughs> very angry. I was just being concerned, Rick was being violent. Rick's becoming violent. Uh, anyway, Rick's you guys, gonna kill us. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we'll have a new episode next week, and uh, uh, stay tuned. We have some bonus footage. Oh, yeah. Thank you all. Bye. That's like a race thing. Yeah. No, that's... um. It's for it made. All right, we'll close it. There's a there's a camera. Do you want to try maybe two samples? One I'll do over here, and one I'll do over here. Um, yes. Okay. All right. So that's what I'll do. I'll start over here with. This. Try to make it snappy. Cause... Snappy, baby. I need to wet my tab. Tab. <laughs> Rick needs to wet his tab. It's a swab. Tab, I mean my tab. <laughs> No, don't kneel on it, Rick. Oh my god. Let me get so he doing this. Okay, go ahead. Wait a minute. I'm gonna get a little more of the other two. That's food. That's food. It looks like it to me. Alright, that's enough. Now swab that other over here. Where? Because we'll do luminol. This here? No no no. No, over here on the ball. Alright. Swab this too with the same cause then. I don't know, it could be blood, because that looks... Get a little bit more of this, right? Yeah. That's see, actually... This looks just like thin paint. Oh, I don't me. know about that, but we'll see. All right, let's see what we get. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, the sample goes again. Sample goes away. All right, you. Don't do it. Okay, and just so we explain again, that right, is, so this is potassium. The, fairy. Cyanide. Okay. And then you and then we get mix this the swab in into that, that first to okay. get saturated with that material. Now if and we get a <clears throat> now we're putting in the hydrogen peroxide and we right. get a blue green, then we have blood present. Yep. No blood. Wow. I would have really thought that we were gonna uh see some gore, but uh yeah. No no lens again. How are the how are the linens over here? Behind you. <laughs> they look really sad. <laughs> look at those. Oh my god. How about the, this this area right 
is a hideous Here. towel. Is that all dark there? No, no it's turn dark around. I don't see what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's a little dark there, but you can't see. Anyway. It just has like no thread left. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks like a um, there's nothing there. It's like a rag you'd use in the auto shop. Right, 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 right. They've been used for decades. Yes. Well, nothing special. No, nothing special. No. Okay. Nothing special except for hair. Oh, oh no. no. Jesus, that's a really thick, Ugh. curly uh, pube. No, just don't take it out because it's better this way because I can see it. Jesus. Just put that back. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. <laughs> Throw it back where you it put came. put the curly pube right back up there. <laughs> Oh, curly pew. <laughs> well, there's a tear right there. You can just tear the bottom open and see if there's anything. Rick, see on your side? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, I can see it right here. Okay, tear it open. Let's look at it. I mean, the covers are useless anyway. Find anything, Will? No, nothing. No, no inside terrible. parts, no. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Sorry, Royal Inn. We'll buy you another $3 <laughs> bed cover. <laughs> what a joke. Dirty air filter. Oh. Another one just as Not bad. quite as bad as the other place. No? But yeah, no. but still, look at but that. But look at it. Pretty. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, look at that. Jeez. This is what you're, you're inhaling. Going through this. God. Isn't that nice? Jesus. Oh look, look at look at the look at that oh, pun yeah. puncture mark in the ceiling. I wonder what that's from. Probably a somebody butted someone in the head with a gun <laughs> and they hit the ceiling with their gun first. Oh they were 